This is my quick tutorial on how to format a Google Doc for APA. Um, APA is the style used by most social sciences, so sociology, psychology, stuff like that. For this tutorial I'm going to be using some hotkeys, so pay attention down here to this virtual keyboard that I'm clicking on. Uh, you can see that when I press Command, here's Alt Option, here's Control, Shift, Caps Lock, so on. So when I press, for instance, Command, Command T to open up a new tab, You'll see it down here. You won't see the T press because it's really quick, but that's what I'm pressing. And I'll, I'll make sure to tell you. So here we have our document. Don't worry about what it says here. This is just placeholder text called lorem ipsum. It's just nonsense uh, in Latin, just to uh, show you kind of what a few pages look like. But down here I have a references page, and the references page is taken from a paper I wrote a little while ago. Uh, I'll show you how to format that as well. So first things first, we're going to select everything in this document by pressing Command and A. You can also right click on, the, on, all the, on any piece of text and select all matching text. Selecting all matching text only selects text that's formatted the same way. So if you have a header in here or anything like that, it won't select all the text, it'll just select the header. That's why I like Command A. And here we're going to go into Format to make this double spaced. Go down to Line Spacing, click Double. Now we have double spaced uh, our document. Next, we're going to grab uh, page or insert page numbers in here. So I'm going to go to the insert menu and insert uh, page number one and two. So now we go down to our format or our references page. In APA, the references uh, page is called references and it's center justified. So I'm going to press the center justified button. Now, if I want to use a hotkey to do that, I press Command Z to undo this. Uh, in on Max, if you want to redo something, so Command Z is undo, Command Shift Z is redo, and Windows is Command Y or Control Y. So if you don't, so that's Command Z to undo, Command Shift Z to redo. If you don't want to uh, use the buttons, just press Command Shift E. Oops. Now uh, to make this a new page, you can insert a page break, and the way you insert a page break is by going to Insert and the Page Break button. But it's always faster to use a, to use a hotkey, so I'm just going to press Command Enter here. And the way the reason you do this is because this way, when your references page is at the bottom of uh, or on, an, on after a page break, you can type in front of it, and when you have a new paragraph, it gets pushed to a new page, so you don't have to constantly add spaces before it. Now uh, we're going to format this references page to fall in line with APA guidelines. And by doing that, we're going to in, or show the ruler. So in, by default in Google Docs, the ruler is hidden usually. So we go to View and click Show Ruler. And that brings this, this nice ruler up here. The ruler has all sorts of functions that I'll explain if you, want, if, if you guys want some more tutorials. But uh, for our purposes here, we're just going to format this references page using the ruler. Now to, to move the entire body of text uh, that you highlight, you just use this little square button. The square button moves both the V and the square, or sorry, the V moves both the V and the square. This is the first line indent. You can tell by highlighting over it and the left indent. Now we're going to highlight just the text that we want to format, so not the references page as well, or the references title as well, just the text. And I'm going to grab the V and move the whole thing over to one tab. If you want to move it over to two tabs, then it's this little one. And the way this works is that uh, everything you type after it ends up down here, even new lines. So I'm just going to do that. And to make this formatted correctly, we're going to drag that all the way back to one tab. And then we're going to drag the first line indent over to here. So now if I want if I add another thing, and uh, it's quite long, so if I go and, in, and paste in my uh, lorem ipsum again, we're not going to end up with the same format. But let's go like this. I'm just going to hold down the A key. Type a bunch of text in here. You can see that after the first line, you're indented back to the uh, page stop, just how the formatting demands. And that's how you format your reference references page. So it's highlight, drag the uh, left uh, the left indent all the way over to one tab, and then the first line stop over to the left, and it should be in line with the rest of your paper. Great.